Hello everybody, welcome to our review and comment and whatever, reliving of day 115, which was yesterday, which was our Charlotte County Veg Fest. We are in the car right now in Naples. And um, so yesterday we woke up in Punta Gorda and thankfully we had a charger there because we had to keep the air conditioner on because it was really warm last night. Uh, oh, this is the night four. It was really warm Saturday night. So we had to keep the air conditioner on Saturday night in the car just to stay at decent temperature. And thankfully got up at like 3.30, four so or so in the morning and I went over and, and that charger was available. Even though it's like the busiest Wawa ever, the busiest place ever. That's what I've seen in the past anyway. Got the, got the charge all hooked up and we went over and started setting up early, which was nice. And I thought the event went really well. A few uh, internal issues that we had but I don't think most people didn't notice any of them. So I don't know what you thought of yesterday. What do you, what did you think? It was fine. We arrived Just fine? an hour early since you woke up early and went and charged. So I, I didn't have to jump out of the car and immediately start setting up signs. It was still pitch black out. So it was nice to relax for a little while before I started setting things up. And then, it, yeah, the, it went good. The vendor load-in was easy, um, you know, except for that happened um we're not talking about any internal issues no, no. Uh, in, internal problem I, I had no control over it happened but besides that it was a nice event there was a nice turnout we got some new people that weren't familiar with plant-based food uh, i got to try some myself and uh, yeah we got out of there at a decent time we didn't forget anything so it was good I probably should have worn sunscreen. I had a short sleeve shirt on. You can see my tan line. Oh, <laughs> I've got no. sunburn down here and it's all white right oh, here. Oh <laughs> no, farmer's so tan. I got a farmer's tan. I gotta even it out. Oh now. no. Now you have to be Walking naked. Out. Now Denise has mm -hmm. to be naked for the rest of the day. Yeah. No? <laughs> it was a, a good day. Yeah. So I'd say that overall, you know, that this is our most ch one of our most challenging events. Smaller event. We've been doing it for four years. And there's no plant-based or vegan restaurants in the entire county of Charlotte County, and definitely not in Punta Gorda, but we hope that eventually that'll happen. I think that we had a great turnout of food vendors from out of the county, all of them from out of the county. And that was a really good showing because the people who were local got to try all kinds of stuff there. And uh, maybe they'll make some demands, I don't know, of, of other restaurants. And there was a good crowd too, I think overall for, for the size of the event and everything we did we did lots of promoting this year, lots of extra promoting. We've been doing lots of extra promoting for all the events. Yeah, and you've got a, a lot of new people signing up for our email newsletter, which is a good thing because when we go to Gainesville or someplace that already has vegan restaurants, nobody is signing up for our email. And if they do, <laughs> they're already on our list. And so it, it looks like we got we reached a lot of new people, which, yeah. is, which is our objective. So that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. That's all we have to say about yesterday. And then after the festival, we drove, we got the trailer um, unhooked and dropped off before sunset, thankfully. And then we charged the car and we got a shower in Naples. And then that's where we spent the night. And are you tired still? You're closing your eyes. Yeah, a little bit. I'm focused on work right now. <laughs> okay. So that's it. Let us know any questions you have about running events. Let me just say, there's always it's always putting out fires, constantly putting out fires trying to produce these events. So anything we're not talking about is just normal event stuff, and I think we have to do it, deal with at almost every event. Hopefully, nobody else notices that, <laughs> but us. And um, that's it. We're we're almost done with our time here in Southwest Florida. Really, this week we have an we have our biggest we have our biggest dinner event, our annual update event with uh, Dr. Tuttle and Madeline at Angela Gardens with with uh, our new farm that we're working with, with Emmanuel and Sarah and their kids. So we still have tickets available, plants to table, P-L-A-N-T-S, the number two, table.org. Plants to table.org with the number two. So love tickets, I got to promote for that. And then after that, uh, after Monday, I think I have one last meeting here on Monday, we are up heading up north, maybe a hockey game next weekend in, uh, in Tampa, I'm not sure. I don't even know if we can do that logistically with the trailer. It's gonna be a, a nightmare, but we might be able to pull it off. And then I had to come back down here for one meeting the week after Ocala Veg Fest, like the day after. Just come down for one meeting that I have to go to. And we've already gonna meet up with some, some friends in Englewood. They're having some other friends over, which is gonna be great. It's about Englewood Veg Fest. And then we're heading straight back up 
I think, uh, north after that. And we will not be back in Southwest Florida after that. So it's definitely getting warmer here. And we need to get out of here. It's too hot. Too sunny, too hot. Yeah. All right. Bye.